Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make this beautiful necklace and earrings that are embellished with Swarovski elements. As you can see, you're going to be able to make both of these pieces within this kit. So within the actual kit itself, you're going to get all the elements you're going to need to be able to create. So you've actually got a full findings pack here where you've got chains, you've got a beautiful ready-made chain, which is roughly about 20 inches, but it has got an extended chain on as well. You've got all your pieces that you can use for your, some of the different projects and some that we're going to use in these projects. And you've got your gorgeous Swarovski elements. You've got a pendant and earring sizes. It comes in a lovely organza bag that you can then give away if you're going to give your, your product away or you're um, going to keep it for yourself somewhere nice just to keep it and keep it nice and safe. So I'm now going to just show you how to create the pendant. The earrings are made exactly the same way, so what we do with the pendant, you can make the earrings exactly the same. So I'm just going to move this to the side, and what I need from my kit is my, my necklace length. I need one of my head pins. Now the head pins are these little straight pieces of wire, and they've got a tiny little element on the end, the little ball head pin there that you can see, that's just going to stop the, the actual crystal from falling off. So that's just like a little stopper bead that's already made in. We're now going to use some different um, tools. So the tools that we're going to use are our side cutter tools. So these are designed for cutting the actual um, metal itself. So when we're going to make the head pin into a loop, so we're going to cut it with these. We're also going to use are round nose pliers which you can see are the ones with the blue handles and they've got the round conical noses and then the last pair of pliers that we're going to use are our chain nose pliers and they're the ones with the red handles so these are the ones with the flat grips inside and we're going to use these to actually hold the wire okay so what we're going to do to start is we're going to take our Swarovski element and we're going to take our head pin and what we're going to do is we're going to pop our head pin all the way through so it's sitting through the drill hole of the Swarovski element. So if I just turn it to the front, now there is two ways for this Swarovski. You can have it the nice yellowy or you can have it onto the other side. That's your, entire, that's your choice which way you want to use it. So I've now got my head pin through my Swarovski. I'm now going to take this head pin and I'm going to bend it upright so you can see I've made like a little hook and now this Swarovski element's not moving as much it's now hooked into place so I'm now going to take this hold it onto its side so I can now use the whole of this length now we don't need all of this length of wire what we need is we need about a centimeter to a centimeter and a half of this wire so using my cutters which are the ones with the yellow handles and using the flat side of the cutters so you can see I'm using this nice flat area here I'm now just going to cut that section off. Now make sure that you hold on to this section as well because what you don't want to do is that flying, flying off and hurting anybody. So now using my round nose pliers, which are the pliers with the purple handles, I'm now going to pop into the jaws of these pliers and I'm holding this head pin so that I can't actually feel the head pin sticking out through the top but you can see it's actually secured onto the actual piece of metal. So I'm holding it quite tightly and holding my pendant and my head pin still, I'm just going to roll my wrist until it meets the other side. So I've created a little loop. So I've now got my little loop on the top of my Swarovski. So if I just hold that into there, you can see now that my loop's facing the top and I've now got my pendant in place. Now using my flat nose pliers, I'm now going to open that little loop up a little bit, take my chain and I'm going to just slide the chain into that little gap because it's a nice open loop. So I'm just hooked it over the top of that little loop there now remembering to close that loop back up so the chain doesn't come off. I now have my Swarovski pendant attached to my necklace. So just bring that nice and straight. And there you have your pendant attached to your necklace. So the same technique is exactly the same for the earrings. You're just going to use 
two exactly the same loops, make your nice round loops, attach them onto your earring findings, which look like these, so we call them shepherd hooks. So they're just like little tiny hooks, opening at the loop that's on the bottom of your shepherd hook here, add them in, and there you have your suite of jewellery that are embellished with your Swarovski elements.